Hi, I'm Nancy Quinn, and it's time for High Noon Tea. We haven't had one in a while, and so it's nice to sit down with you all and get caught up. I'm drinking Lipton Peach Mango today. And even in the fall, I actually prefer this as an iced tea. Yes, it's good hot, but I suggest that you try it iced because that's my favorite way of drinking this one. You know that when I'm out shopping, I'm always keeping my eye out for cute mugs to use in this segment. And I found this really great one. And it says, this llama doesn't want your drama. And I just thought it was darling. And when I'm having a day that has a little drama in it, I feel like sometimes I need to carry the mug around. And when someone starts something, just show it to them. I don't even have to say a word. I just show them the mug. Well, I did have a couple of questions about the greenhouse this week. So I thought I would go ahead and answer those. Joanne from West Virginia, she writes, I watched your greenhouse videos. Do you have a photo of the outside? I do, actually, Joanne. And here it is. Now, if you'll look at this, you'll notice that there's a little star on top of the door. And all of our outbuildings, the barn and my art studio, if it's on the property, it has a little star. And if you noticed the video about the kids' playhouse when we donated it to a neighbor, even the playhouse had a small little star on the top. So it kind of ties all the outside buildings together, and I just thought it was kind of a nice sentiment. I also had another question from Jean. Jean lives in Florida and he asks, do you have heat in your greenhouse? Are you able to use it through the winter? Well, Jean, we do use it through the winter for storage. We don't actually grow anything in the winter time. We've looked at some different ideas of trying to heat it bringing out power and doing something with electricity or even small wood stoves. Nothing really seemed that feasible. So actually when it comes winter time, we just put all of the outdoor furniture and other things in there and we use it for storage. Now with fall coming, we had some really tough September freezes and I was quite worried about my tomatoes. So I correspond with Dave in Maine, and I asked him about it. Is, did he have any tips? Because he works a lot outdoors and with farming and, and potatoes, and he just grows everything. So he wrote, and this was his suggestion, and I want to share it with you because it worked beautifully and it was a great idea. I went out to the greenhouse before I knew this next freeze was coming, and we snipped all of the tomatoes right off the vine. And if you saw my other videos about the great tomato takeover, you know that there were hundreds of them in there. So we snipped them off the vine and took them inside and put them in this paper bag. So in a couple of weeks, they ripened. And they did such a beautiful job of ripening in this bag, which I did leave open, by the way. I just set it in the laundry room. We had them for salads and we still have them and they didn't all ripen at the same time which is really nice so we could have a few and then wait for some more to ripen and i just went into the laundry room and picked them right out of the bag and they were fabulous so i have to send a big thank you to dave and i hope that you all try this if you ever need to bring in your tomatoes this is a good way to ripen them inside so thanks thanks dave that was really great of you Thanksgiving is going to be here in just a few days, so I wanted to be sure and extend a very happy Thanksgiving. It is a uniquely American holiday, and it certainly makes me stop and think about all the things that I am grateful for. I also wanted to make sure that we all remember our American soldiers 
who are away from home and unable to spend this celebration with their friends and loved ones too. You know, I have a plaque in my dining room above the door and it reads, there is always, always, always something to be thankful for. And I really believe that. I know I have much to be grateful for in my personal life as well as my professional life too. You know, I recently found out that my work, the books, the art, even these videos, are beginning to have some kind of enjoyment in other parts of the world. And so I really wanted to say thank you to other people in parts of the world. So I went on the internet and I looked up some ways to say thank you. So to my friends in Russia, I want to say Bolshoya Spasiba. And my friends in Germany, Danka. And those of you in Poland, Jen Kuyem. And in France, Merci. And those of you that speak Spanish, Gracias. And I hope I said those correctly. <laughs> so just know if I didn't, it really did come from my heart. And to all my friends here in the West, I want to say a very sincere, much obliged. So I'll see you soon on another High Noon Tea. Oh, and try the tea. Try it iced tea and tell me what you think.